Hey guys, Thunder E here, and we are back with another battle vid. And this time is between the brand new ROG Phone 2 with all its sexy specs, including that Snapdragon 855 processor, and the ZTE Nubia Red Magic 3, which is a well priced gaming phone that packs a lot of punch. Now, this is really exciting, but don't forget to smash that subscribe button and let's get into some gaming. All right, all right, so gaming phones are here to stay, and we've got new versions of both of these devices here. The RG phone was just announced, and it packs seen so many features. I could read down a laundry list. I could look at my screen and do that. It comes in with a 6.5-inch display, uh, 2340 by 1080 p but what's interesting about the display, it's HDR10 in terms of, uh, of course, it supports HDR for games. Also comes in with a 120 hertz refresh rate, so which means everything's bought as smooth, but your touch sampling is 240 40 hertz. So it's really, really smooth. You can see in the videos how fast and smooth everything just looks and runs on this device, which is awesome. Now it's powered by the brand new Snapdragon 855 Plus processor higher uh, GP performance and CPU performance compared to the regular 855. So you take full advantage of this in terms of your gaming performance here, which is great. You've got, of course, a massive battery at 6,000 milliamps. So your gaming session should last longer than any other phone on the market. This is this is, this is is huge. As gamers, uh, mobile gaming, you're gonna spend a lot of time uh, in terms of this game. So you might as well, instead of you charging your phone all the time, you might as well use something like this. Uh, you've got a 30 watt quick charger on here as well. So that charger time is cut down. Now, in terms of accessories, you've got some really interesting things here. You've got um, this clip on fan that comes at the back with the original ROG phone. It's here with this, help cool your device when you're gaming, especially with all the heat that's gonna be generated off this thing uh, on here. You've also got touch panels on the very top of the device. So you can actually remap your keys. So say things like PUBG, your fire buttons on the top right instead of you touching the screen and you can actually use that to move your cursor around. So those kind of things are pretty cool on the device as well. Now, uh, a bunch of accessories like extra controllers, kind of like the, the the Nintendo Switch controllers. Um, and you've got a bunch of accessories you, you can use with this device. Now, the cameras, two cameras, standard 48 megapixel camera, which everybody's using, and a 13 megapixel ultra wide camera. The fingerprint sensor is in the display this time. So again, just a lot of really cool stuff on this device. Now, pricing not fully set, but it looks like it's gonna be around 900 bucks. Um, the original ROG phone right now is priced at 620, so that's where I'm guessing the price point for this device because it packs in so much. You've got a headphone jack, 24-bit audio as well, uh, DTS Headphone X. Everything you need as a gamer, there's a gaming mode, so you actually um, hit that switch. The logo lights up at the back, everything turns and it takes you to the gaming center. You can customize the fan speed, the ROG lighting colors as well. Of course, you know, I mean, if you know anything about gaming on PC, ROG lighting and sync, yeah, all that stuff. You can do that with this as well. So there's a lot built into this device that gamers will like in terms of gaming settings and all that fun stuff. But the price is there. Now, speaking of price and devices, moving over to the uh, the Nubia uh, Red Magic 3, priced starting at 479 bucks, yes. And why am I comparing this to the ROG Phone 2? Because this thing is a killer device that packs in a lot of features. 479, that base price would give you eight gigs of RAM, but you can go up to 12, similar to this. Now, this doesn't come with US UFS 3.0 like the ROG phone does come, but you can go up to 12 gigs of RAM. It's got a 6.6 .6 inch display resolution 2340 by 1080p. The display doesn't have 120 Hertz, but it's 90 Hertz. So it's really fast refresh rate on that display. That is really nice. I do like it. Uh, the fingerprint sensor is at the back of the device, and you've got this nice strip LED strip as well, which I do like. It's not as gaudy as the massive ROG logo on the ROG phone. So, you know, potato, potato, whatever you like, this might fit into that as well. Now, when you look at other aspects of the device and what you can actually do, there's a ton of stuff. It uses powered by the Snapdragon 855 processor. 
which is a beast. And when you're gaming and playing games like PUBG, you can go on extreme. This is the first device I use this year where I could be able to switch on extreme without using any apps and game to the max. You also have, of course, a game center with, with similar to RG phone here to switch. It transforms into, into the game center. You can go in, select your games, and you can see, you know, you can also uh, customize uh, things you want to do in the game center, like turning the fan. It's got a built-in fan, so you don't need that clip-on fan like the RG phone, where it actually turns the fan speed higher within the device and cools it off. Uh, so that's also pretty great. A battery is a 5,000 milliamp battery, not as big as a 6,000, but that's still a huge battery. Although charging is only at 18 watts, so you know that's what you get right there with this device. Um, the camera is a 48 megapixel camera. It's a nice camera um, and takes some really nice photos. Uh, similar to what the RG phone, there is no there is no wide angle lens on the Nubia uh, device. But the gaming performance on this thing is a beauty. It also has some really nice speakers as well. When you look at both of them side by side, honestly, I mean, I mean, this thing is, just, it's its a dope phone. It's a dope phone at $479 that does a lot. It's also one of the few phones that actually does 8K recording. Um, it's not the best and it's only great, it's only good in daytime, but you can record at 8K on this device. So looking at both devices, I'm gonna ask you guys this question. Which would you pick up? Would you pick up the ROG Phone 2 with 120 hertz, super sampling, touch at 240, all that cool accessories for close to about 900 bucks? Or would you go with something like the new Red Magic, which has almost all the same features, save for the super sampling and 120 touch and display, has the touch trigger buttons as well on the very top, so you can map out your keys and games just as well for $479, almost half the price. Let me know what you think though, guys, because I'm swaying towards the Nubia Red Magic 3 because it does all that and more, and I don't have to have that kind of clip-on fan on the back. Anyway, guys, let me know. I think the Nubia Red Magic 3 is the better device, gaming device of 2019 so far. We'll have to wait and see. There might be more competitors. But till next time, leave your thoughts down below. I'm sure some of you will be angry with me. Can't wait to hear your thoughts. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.